If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new songs in the description. Is J. Cole retiring after his next album or after his next two albums? Because there's quite some evidence on this. Today, we're going to take a look at this and we're going to talk about your favorite KFC side dish again, Jermaine coleslaw let's move straight into this before the video starts and as always if you don't want to hear this make sure to skip 20 seconds into the future but you can subscribe to my free newsletter with the first link in the description it is completely free comes every sunday and recaps everything that's been happening in hip-hop over the past week and also make sure to follow me on tiktok because i just made it and i'm posting daily on there so make sure to not miss out on that let's jump into the video now so over the past couple of days theories have been arising about a new j cole album dropping i also dropped a video yesterday going over the five main theories if you haven't watched that make sure to go check it out after this video but we basically think that he's going to be dropping a new album called it's a boy pretty soon the basis for all of this is that he cleared his instagram account so he usually only does this right before a new album drops he last did it with the off season that dropped two weeks later and also dreamville festival is coming up on april 1st and april 2nd and maybe he wants to drop something before that so those are the two main reasons, but there's a lot more detail that I go over in my other videos, so make sure to go check them out. But today, we're going to be talking about the possibility of this guy retiring. And this man is no stranger to thoughts of retirement. I mean, we can go back to 2015 on DJ Khaled's major key album. He had an interlude, Jermaine's interlude. And even in 2015, he said, How the fuck do I look when I brag to you about some diamonds? Said all that I could say. Now I play with thoughts of retirement. Of course, this could have only been used in like a pretty playful way of like, you know, I said everything I was going to say, so why should I stay here? But it was the first time that he referenced this. You may also remember, and we're going to cover these before we get into the details about if he could actually retire. You may also remember in like May of last year, so 2022, we had this fan account of Dreamville post that J. Cole was retired or that he was retiring from rap. It took TikTok by storm. A lot of people were reporting on this. Obviously it turned out to be false. I mean, you know, crazy, crazy that even Genius, the official Genius Twitter account, also commented under this tweet with like nice or whatever. Um, but that was obviously not the case. J. Cole is not retired. He's not retired from music. But even some like, you know, fan pages were posting that. And so a lot of people are, are kind of, you know, wondering if he is or wondering if he has. But let's look at the reasons why I think also based off of the, you know, the theories and the rumors that we got about a new album dropping that he could be retiring after his next album or after the you know second to next album you'll know what i mean two albums in the future because the main reason we even think that the new album is being called it's a boy is because of the release schedule that he dropped right before the off season dropped so on here we can see this is the fall off era plan and this dropped after you know as i said after kod before the off season and this term the fall off we're going to talk about it in a second a bit more but basically what we can see here is the feature run of 2018 2019 already crossed off then we we can see our Revenge of the Dreamers 3 already crossed out. The next thing on the list would have been the off season. That plan then also got executed and we got the off season. And then the next thing would be it's a boy and then the fall off. Now you might remember the fall off from the last track on KOD, which was 1985, but it said intro to the fall off. So back then we even thought that the fall off was going to be his next album. Obviously the next album was the off season, but still people were thinking that the fall off is coming at some point. And of course we could make the theory that the fall off will be the last album. So we get a, another album. It's a boy and then a yet another album. So the fall off, so two more albums, but it could also be that it's a boy is the last album and the fall off is already him falling off that is somewhat of a reach but still it's a possibility now we know that this plan is something that he's been working on for quite some time because in 2020 he wrote a little piece for the players tribune in which he went over his story with basketball and how he got into hip-hop and into rapping how he took that serious and at one point he writes that he developed a long-term plan of becoming the best rapper i could possibly be before hanging up my jersey leaving nothing on the table when all was said and done the c for the fall off 
were planted. So here he's also saying that he had a long-term plan to be the best rapper alive. And this long-term plan is likely listed out in that release schedule that he gave us. And it's been right in front of our eyes for a very long time. And we, we interpreted it that way. It's not like we didn't see it. But it's that definitely a possibility that after the fall off, this guy could retire. Also in the documentary for the off season, which was called Applying Pressure, he talks about being at a really comfortable place in his life that he had to leave in order to be in the mindset to make the off season, but that he's at a place where he's like, I'm gonna go through this one last time. And after that, I'll be set and I can hand out the jersey and I can just be remembered as one of the best. And I left right when the time was right. And I didn't like, you know, stayed in it for too long and, you know, saw myself become the villain. One more thing we know about which albums are still dropping was uh, about his appearance on KD's podcast. So Kevin Durant, after the offseason drops, he was on there as a guest just speaking about it. And at one point he said, you want to go into the studio when you miss it for real. So that took six weeks. And after that, it was the best decision I made because after that, I came into the studio with full clarity, like, okay, off season, boom, we got that album. The fall off, boom, it's a boy, boom, I just started chipping away. So we know that those three albums are musical projects that he's working on. So the off season was the album that we got that he was talking about right after he released it. And we know that the fall off and it's a boy are also going to be musical projects. So that goes against the theory that the off season, that the fall off is just like his fall off basically. But obviously there's a lot in the name too, because why would you name your last album the fall off? It's kind of like ironic because, you know, he's doing this so he doesn't fall off so that he has a plan and that he's gonna leave at a certain time and then he's calling that album the fall off kind of ironic but definitely something that I could see Cole do and honestly I think that he's gonna go through with this plan Cole is someone who I ex you know expect to be someone planning long term to be thinking long term how can I push this to the limits how can I do this and then putting out you know albums as he was you know, gonna say he was gonna do so there is actually a very big possibility and I am actually expecting that J. Cole will retire after dropping it's a boy and after dropping the fall off as solo projects maybe a couple of revenge of the dreamers things are going to still drop we're waiting on revenge of the dreamers 4 stuff like that but i do think that at some point after the fall off he will retire that's kind of the answer to that question i i, I do think that that's going to happen so that was you know my kind of breakdown of all the evidence that we got on j cole retiring now i want to know what you think about this though but first off before i let y'all go you got to check out my official hoodie right under this video in the merch bar it is comfortable as hell right now it's january it's pretty cold outside so you got to get yourself a little hoodie that is you know is looking stylish looking clean looking fleek and you're supporting your boy and it's also pretty comfortable right there in the merch bar 20% off with code true fam make sure to use that offer and now I want to know what you think about J. Cole all of your thoughts and theories you got on this please let me know in the comments down below if you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip-hop events and releases make sure to subscribe turn on notifications hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly join my discord in the description until the next one, we'll have an incredible day and y'all take care.